Hello everyone, SGC, playing a new game that I just got called Fight the Dragon. Now, yes, you do get to fight the dragon, but it's impossible. Well, it's not impossible, it'll just take a really, really long time just to kill it, and I'll show you footage of the dragon later on in the video. Now, here I just do some basic questing on random people's uh, <laughs> adventures that they've created through the editor which you can make yourself as well it's quite simple not too complex but if you're those people that are always confused or something then it could be confusing if you have never used any editing or editing, uh, yeah, editor stuff before, then, yeah, you're completely lost in it or something. Um, <laughs> game runs pretty smooth. And I quite enjoyed the game, I'm quite addicted to it at the moment. And that was weird how I just like flung back from an opening chest. Because the combat is, it's really quite slippery. You'll start sliding backwards so much, and it's like the size of your weapon, it's like hard to hit them with. Like, I was using the greatsword, and it was just hard to mi not miss. And when I was just using a tiny sword or a club, it was just impossible to hit them with. It was like, it was so tiny, you, and if they moved slightly, it, I just didn't get that. Yeah, I just don't get that. So, it was just so hard to hit them with. Because the enemies would be just sliding backwards when you run towards them. So just be sliding backwards and the archers are just so annoying because they'll just run away once you get next to them so they're impossible to hit so I just spent my abilities that way I get just kill them and to use your abilities you have to gain well for says it says for me ember but I just call it mana because you know and you gain like mana for each hit you do or a mana potion that you use. I should just call it Ember because that's what it's called in the game. And you can just glitch. There's that bug right there. <laughs> glitch through walls and doors and gates. Glitch through anything. There I failed. <laughs> I think I succeeded. Nah, I couldn't do that one. There are a lot of issues in the game still. I don't know when it's gonna be released. Or when it's gonna be close to releasing. There's still a few errors that need to get over, such as the slippery combat, the glitchable objects, and what else is there that's broken? Well, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, and the, when you fight the dragon, you're able to just sit at your gates and just shoot him with the fire staff or any ranged weapon. I'm not sure. I've only played this class and I've not used any other ranged weapons, but I'm assuming that you're able to do the same. The dragon is really dropping you loot once you kill it because they haven't really implemented that reward drop feature on the dragon. So no point in doing that unless you're just bored or something. And see how much damage you'll do against the dragon the next time you face it. 
and you can fight whatever you get a scroll like you, you get a pass to face the dragon which are not hard to get you just do a quest complete it and you get a pass in the way in the loot system is quite I don't know it's quite a weird at first like you pick up an item and it happens to be better than your rare or something but it doesn't give stats bonus stats but later levels you will get to understand that reason got like every single part gear there's shoulders head chest feet helmet what else is there I think those are it and you also get like a ring and an accessory item as well but I can never ever find a drop of one of those <laughs> I can never find a, a, like an accessory piece and I'm already a level 19 which took me like nine hours to get to. Here's my like. This is when I was a low level. Fine. I actually tried figuring out the puzzle, not just glitch through everything, because what's the fun in that? And you do get more XP and gold and chances to get some rare loots if you just like fight everybody and explore everywhere get just get get everything you know it's more better doing it like that so there's no really point in glitching <laughs> perhaps if you're stuck or something I don't know There, I killed that Minotaur. That mini boss just. Uh. Oh, no, no, dang, I'm trying to find out. Freaking fire turn. Disintegrated? Or evaporated? Uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, there, I glitched out by mistake. And here he is. Here's a maze. And I was like, hey, nope, I don't want to do this, mugs. Glitch through it. <laughs> See, I fail. It'll be much easier if you're, like, lagging a bit or something. It'll be a lot more easier. Because the only way I'll be able to do it is if I can, like, go into a corner. Here I wanted to fight the Minotaur. Because he gives quite the amount of XP that I would like to acquire. There's a stamina bar, a health bar. Yeah, there's a heavy attack, but it can it consumes like mostly 50% of your stamina. There are items that will let you have more stamina, and less consumed, uh, less stamina consumption. Consum Screw my English. When you use a heavy attack, <laughs> there's an XP bar. That's a green green XP bar mana is blue or amber as you want to call it. Stamina is for yellow. Red is health. And you see my shield is a it's it's yellow which stands for legendary. There are several types of rarities such as commons, junk. Junks are the brown. Legendaries are the rarest, which are yellow. Extraordinaries, which are orange. Rares are purple, or I think those are like mm, blues. There's, there's commons. Commons were green. Rare were purple. Or is, I don't even know. Common is purple, and rares green those are like that's the only confusion I have there 
If you know, if you play the game, you can correct it on the comment section or whatever. <laughs> you get a skill point for each level you get. You can boost up your defense, strength, luck, or what else is there besides those? Stamina. Yeah. Strength will increase your attack. Defense, health, luck, rare items, and there I just gave up because I just couldn't glitch back in. <laughs> and what else was there? Oh yeah, stamina, which is obviously our stamina bar. The, the jumping, you can't really jump in the game. There's no jumping, you just, like, once you lean off the edge, you'll like jump into the other platform just you'll automatically jump once you jump once you uh, walk off the edge or sprint off the edge of something and then yeah, you just jump There, I figure out that I just do the mage legitly so I don't glitch off again. There's like a checkpoint, and each checkpoint you get a life, and there's a. There's health. There's like a health bar you can consume. It's not really cheating because you can only like. It'll only give you 150 health in total. So if you try to like camp there or something, get some mobs. If you take a lot of damage, it would like consume all of it, and you won't have no more left in that checkpoint. But you did get an extra life from there, so mm -hmm. that's pretty good. And if you die, you get to spawn. There are those ch certain checkpoints, which I is not really sure. But Extraordinaries are green. I mean orange. Boots. Okay. So commons were great. Alright. See? It does jump. Your loot shrine is where you can sell, donate your loot, and then pray for better items. Or put them into your loot stash to use later or give them to another account that you will create or something to have them have great gear once they start. <laughs> there I was just donating junk that was really useful to me to get more points and there are certain every time you go up a tier you gain much better rewards but it only only it'll only pick three from that category so if it goes for like bag slot stamina boost and legendary items you get to choose from uh, those things it's random like that you see just pick three from that category <laughs> which I was really wanting <laughs> I was hoping for a legendary not extraordinary okay I picked the extraordinary sword and I think it happens to be better than my club Ooh. quest you do it's random you go to a random user generated or a one made by three sprockets which are the developers now you can change like which quest is random by filtering if you only want easy you can filter that it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just want easy or you can just pick one it doesn't have to be random you can just pick one off uh, there's like a pick list sheet or something off from of other people's adventures, maps, whatever. 
Yeah, you can just do that, and you can also join one of your friends if they ever made if they made a map or an adventure. You can just join on theirs, which is cool. And here I fat the dragon. It's pretty. S it's linear, linear combat. He'll do certain things. If you're from a distance, he'll shoot fireballs. If you're like medium range of him, he'll shoot fire at you. If you're like behind him, he'll start whacking you with his tail. If, if you're like on the side or behind him, he'll start using his tail or turn around and shoot more fire at you. And if you get too close to him, because if you get like really close to him, his fire breath would not hit you at all so he'll just pause for a while like yeah I was just pretty much on his side so he would either use his fire breath or tail his tail does a lot of damage I rather prefer getting hit by his fire that tail could just instant kill you <laughs> and yeah, he'll take a short pause there and start flying up, flying high, and that's when he'll like start pushing you back. As you can see, he'll pause, fly up, shoot fire, he'll push you back. So it's best to just start running back so it doesn't hit you and doesn't push you into the those lava pits. They should add like fences around the arena, you know. They should have fences, cause you can you can fall off. Cause I don't know, that'll make it a whole lot harder actually. If you fall off, like oops. But still, fences would be good. Cause the fences in the editor they're really big. They're they're huge. They consume like three blocks of space. So there should be like a fence that only consume like one block of space at, at least, you know. There should be different. There, well, this is an alpha. They'll be adding more different uh, stuff you can add into your creations and a lot more s customization and everything. There, are, I happen to be close to him, and it just pushed me into the lava pits. Dragon has like about a million HP. Can you see how much how much damage was I doing? Like 32. My fire does a lot more damage. This is when I like I did not play this game much to understand that once he pauses you'll fly up into the air so now I know that and I'm much better at fighting the dragon a lot better you know? my best time was surviving for 10 minutes there's no point in killing the dragon cause it didn't drop any loot you could probably brag about it I killed the dragon and fight the dragon man the hardest dragon fight ever in the history of dragon fights cause this actually is I say. This has got to be the hottest dragon fight in the history of dragon fighting. <laughs> Cause I doubt a level one will be able to do a million dam a uh, million to just bring down a million HP. That that's literally like a million hits that you have to do to it. Without instantly getting killed by its fire and tail. It's possible if you have a fire staff or arrows or whatever range projectile that you'll be able, be able to shoot at it and just camp at your spawn. There I, I, I understood 
what he did, so I started backing up. Like, there. I knew when to back off. I just put a few hits and then you know, timed it. My shield passive, which would it would like tank half of the damage. Boom, I die, and there you get a ring. Yeah, how many scrolls you left? You can replay. Next reward in. There's not really any rewards, as you see. How much damage you did? Who your best damage was? I uh, damaged by uh, Fighting the dragon. I think the dragon should have new moves or something. Because as you see, he was using the same exact. It's this. It's same strategy. It's the same moves and stuff. That's just. It's predictable later on. Mm -hmm. It's not predictable. You'll be able to pretty much survive for a long time because. Yeah, it's easy to understand. Whatever. There's that map, you can just pick a random pod, and there you get a random quest. This one happens to be by Spree Sprockets. You can see, like, through those rocks, there's a bit of platforming there going on. Did I even bother doing it? No, I didn't. And I think, like, after this, it's, like, uh, the end of the video, so I hope you liked everything that I brought to you. Explained enough. My gameplay impressions. Everything. Hello? The difficulty was skill up, so if you do like the same level that you did like when you were level one, the the enemies you'll face, they'll they'll level up, uh, level up with you. You know, they'll be as your level. They'll be at your level. I don't know if there's not really there's not really any sort of grind in this game I think. Because it levels um the enemy scale up with you. And there's all sorts of different maps that you'll adventure in. And some are unique, some are just lazy made. <laughs> but most of them I saw were really quite interesting just Amazing. It's just it, cool how much work people put into their adventures, their maps. Like this one's quite simple. Not too much was worked on here. It's just just lava everywhere. And there's uh, a path road made up of one material put into a bunch of different layer actually three different layers legendary item I was all happy I don't know <laughs> I was like yay a legendary style sweet The looks on your staff, it will look the same. It won't really change its appearance. And the names of the weapons and everything, they, they're they similar. They're just like the Fire Staff of Myth, the Sword of Strength, the Sword of Might, the Sword of 
heroism or something, you know. And then you'll pick up the same that'll have the same name as the one that you had before, but it had but it will have better stats. And it will look different. There's not a whole lot of there's not different names to the weapons. There, I'm too lazy to find the blue key. It's like, no. I don't want no blue key. That's what I get for not doing that. Yeah, that right there. Checkpoints. There, I just push them off into the lava. Because my staff does no damage. There's the blue key. I fell into the lava to grab that item, which happened to be junk. So it was not worth. Actually, uh, it gives it lets me donate. Lets me get the chances of getting a rare item. This game is an early access. I like the game. Can't wait for more. I talked for like about 30 minutes. So my breath hurts. My tongue hurts. My tongue does hurt. I don't know. It doesn't hurt. I'm lying. It just feels weird. My cheeks do. My cheeks are like, Urgh. my cheeks. They hurt. Bah. <laughs> 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 have abilities because my attacks won't hit them. You have four abilities. You start off with one, and like at level five, you get a n second ability, level ten, your third, your fourth, at level fifteen. Leveled up. Um, that's. And there's four different classes. The fourth one isn't axable. Um, like it's not out yet. There's three which are the fire mage, the, the pyro mage, whatever, that guy, the fire lord, or whatever he is, the warrior, and the ice wizard, whatever his name is, ice fire warrior. There's the fourth one planned on coming out later soon or whatever, called the rogue. I like rogues because I just like damage. But... Pretty much I was just building luck so I can get more rare items, more drops, more chances of dropping more loot. And there I completed my quest, get a dragon scroll, some gold, some gold, the gold. And that was, and this is where I, nearly the end, there was a loot shrine, I already told you that, there was a customization sign and a, a graveyard, which haven't been added yet into the alpha so I can't wait to see what those are <laughs> and yeah if you have any questions concerns if you'd like to see more just like subscribe all that wonderful stuff that helps me so much and if you'd like to see any more of it just comment let me know what you would like to see and That'll be all, everyone. Peace.